so next topic is factor theorem statement if p of x is a polynomial of degree n greater than or equal to 1 and a is any real number then x minus a is a factor of p of x if p of a equal to 0 x minus a is a factor if p of a equal to 0 p of a equal to 0 if x minus a is a factor of p of x so here we are saying about a polynomial p of x of degree n greater than or equal to 1 and a is any real number x minus a is a factor if p of a equal to 0 p of me actually means the remainder x minus a is a factor if p of a equal to 0 and p of a equal to 0 if x minus a is a factor remainder is equal to 0 if x minus a is a factor example 11 examine whether x plus 2 is a factor of x square plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 and of 3x 2x plus 4 you have to check whether x plus 2 is a factor of these two polynomials so first we have to suppose let f of x is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 we have to check whether x plus 2 is a factor of this for this we have to make this in the form x minus a so x minus minus 2 is the polynomial so if this is a factor means if p of a equal to 0 we have to check whether p of a equal to 0 f of minus 2 equal to we have to find f of minus 2 so minus 2 whole cube plus 3 into minus 2 whole square plus 5 into minus 2 plus 6 which is equal to minus 8 plus 12 minus 10 plus 6 which is equal to 0. So what we got is f of minus 2 equal to 0. If f of minus 2 is equal to 0 we can say x plus 2 is a factor of f of x therefore x plus 2 x plus 2 is a factor of f of x using factor theorem using factor theorem so what we have done is f of minus 2 we proved that f of minus 2 equal to 0 if f of minus 2 equal to 0 we can say x plus 2 is a factor of f of x using factor theorem then we have to check for this polynomial 2x plus 4 let g of x is equal to 2x plus 4 what you have to find is g of minus 2 g of minus 2 is equal to 2 into minus 2 plus 4 which is equal to minus 4 plus 4 equal to 0 so what we can say is x plus 2 is a factor of 2x plus 4 using factor theorem therefore x plus 2 is a factor of 2x plus 4 using factor theorem next example 12 find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial x minus 1 is a factor x minus a is a factor if f of a equal to 0 so we can suppose let f of x is equal to 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k it is given that x minus 1 is a factor if x minus 1 is a factor means f of 1 equal to 0 x minus a is a factor 
f of a equal to 0. So, x minus 1 is a factor f of 1 equal to 0. So, 4 into 1 cube plus 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1 plus k equal to 0. So, 4 plus 3 minus 4 plus k equal to 0. So, k is equal to minus 3 using factor theorem. Then exercise 2.4, check which of the following polynomial has x plus 1 f factor. Four subdivisions are there, we are doing fourth one. We want to check whether x plus 1 is a factor of the polynomial p of x is equal to x cube minus x square minus 2 plus root 2 into x plus root 2. So, we can write x plus 1 in the form x minus minus 1 x minus a form. So, p of minus 1 equal to minus 1 whole cube plus minus 1 whole square, it is not plus, it is minus. Minus 1 whole cube minus minus 1 whole square minus 2 plus root 2 into minus 1 plus root 2 which is equal to minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 plus root 2 plus root 2. So, here minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 minus minus 1 whole square is plus 1. So, minus 1 then minus and minus become plus. So, 2 plus root 2 then root 2. So, it is minus 2 plus 2 plus 2 root 2 which is equal to 2 root 2 not equal to 0. That means P of 1, P of A is not 0. So, what we can say? It is not a factor of P of X. That means X plus 1 is not a factor of, of P of X using factor theorem. So, we have taken X plus 1 as X minus minus 1. Then we have taken p of minus 1 which we got as 2 root 2 which is not equal to 0. So, x plus 1 is not a factor of p of x using factor theorem. Next question example 13 factorize 6 x square plus 17 x plus 5 by splitting the middle term. This chapter we have to learn the factorization using two methods one is splitting the middle term other is other is factorization method that means using factor theorem. So, actually in the textbook they have done in both the ways but I have taken only one it is splitting the middle term. So, the, the polynomial given is 6 x square plus 17 x plus 5. Here the method which we are using is splitting the middle term that means we have to split this. For this, you have to identify two numbers P and Q such that, this is the short form of such that, you have to identify two numbers P and Q such that, P plus Q is equal to the 17 and P into Q is equal to the product of 6 and 5. 6 into 5, 30. You have to identify two numbers P and Q such that P plus Q is equal to the coefficient of X and P into Q is equal to the product of the co constant term and the coefficient of X square. That means 6 into 5, 30. So, we have to identify two numbers P and Q. You have to take all the combinations but here 30 so the so you have to start with p into q that is the easiest method you have to start from p into q identify the numbers which uh, which gave the product as 30 so first is 15 into 2 is 30 so you have to check whether 15 plus 2 is 17 15 plus 2 is equal to 17 so we can take these two numbers 
This implies that P is equal to 15 and Q is equal to 2. P plus Q is equal to 17 and P into Q is equal to 6 into 5, 30. So, what we got is 15 into 2 is 30 and 15 plus 2 is 17. So, P is equal to 15 and Q is equal to 2. So, we can write this as 6x square plus 17x plus 5 is equal to splitting the middle term 6x square plus 2x plus 15x plus 5. Either you can write 15 as the first one, 2, uh, 2 as the second one or 2 as the first one and 15 as the second one. Here I have because it is 6, what I thought is it is uh, both are the multiples of 2. So, that, that is why I have written these two together and these two are the multiples of 5. So, I have written together. If you are not writing like that also, you will get the same answer. So, then what we are going to do is we are going to take out the common factor from these two. 6x square and 2x. Clearly the common factor is 2x. We are taking out 2x from here. 2x into. When you take out 2x, the remaining is 3x. So 6x square. Then when you take out 2x from here, it will be 1. Plus from these two, we have to take 5 as the common one. Plus 5 into. When you take out 5, it will be 3x. 3x plus 1. So, in these two, 3x plus 1 is common. So, 3x plus 1 into, when you take out 3x plus from 1 from these two, 2x will remain the first and plus 5 will remain. So, these are the two factors. Therefore, the factors are 3x plus 1 and 2x plus 5. So, the question is factorize 6x square plus 17x plus 5. Factorize means find the factors of the, the given polynomial. Here we are using splitting the middle term. For this we have identified two numbers p and q such that p plus q is equal to 17 and p into q is equal to 30. So, we are getting it as 15 and 2. Then we are splitting the middle term as 2x plus 15x. We have written 17x as 2x plus 15x. After that we have taken the common factor from first two and the common factor from last two. So what we got is 3x plus 1 is the common factor of these two. Take out 3x plus 1, the remaining will be 2x plus 5. So the factors are 3x plus 1 and 2x plus 5. Exercise 2.4, factorize. 12x square minus 7x plus 1. Here also we are using the splitting the middle term itself. So identify two numbers p and q such that p plus q is equal to the coefficient of this minus 7 and p into q is equal to 12 into 1, 12. So here the difference is sum is negative and the product is positive. Product positive means either both the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative. Here, but the sum is negative. Sum negative means either the bigger number will be negative or both the numbers will be negative. So, the case is here sum negative and product positive means both the numbers will be negative. Because if 1 is negative, the product should be negative. But here the product is given as positive. So, product positive means either both the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative. But here the sum is negative means and product positive means both the numbers are negative. So, we have to take the combination of this. P plus Q is equal to minus 7 and P into Q is 12. Product 12 means 4 into 3. So, 4 into 3 is equal to 12. So, minus 4 minus 3 minus, minus 4 into minus 3 is 12. Then minus 4 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 7. So, here the sum is negative 7 and the product is 12. So, the numbers are minus 4 and minus 3. P is equal to minus 4 and Q is equal to minus 3. 
So, we can split the middle term 12x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 1 equal to take out 4x from these two. So, 4x into 3 minus 1, 3x minus 1, 4x into 3x minus 1. So, here negative. So, we have to take negative sign out. So, it is 3x minus 1. We are taking the negative sign from here. So, when you take the negative sign, negative and negative become positive. So, when you take one negative from here, one more negative sign will remain there. So, the, the common factor or common term here is 3x minus 1. And when you take out 3x minus from, from here, it is 4x and from here it is minus 1. So, the factors are 3x minus 1 and 4x minus 1. Therefore, the factors are 3x minus 1 and 4x minus 1. Then homework exercise 2.4, first question, uh, subdivision 1 to 3, then 2, 3 and fourth question, second to fourth.